hello hello here we are cheers everybody what's everybody drinking out there let's get the tea emoji going in the comments good to see everyone around the world dgr strong you better believe it mm, i see david i see jay Oh, members of the channel, thank you so much for being members, everybody. Ryan is here. H-Town Q is in the house. Steven is here. Oren is here. Oh, man, there we go. All right. How is everybody doing on a Tuesday? So good to see everyone. Okay, let's get some shout-outs, get some uh, names up on the screen. Travis is always tuning in. Thank you, Travis, for being here. Onward and upward. Hold on, hold on. One second. I'm getting messages all over the place. Ayo, that's right. Ayo, I love it. I love it. Uh, Jeff is here. Great timing. Well, that's good. Glad you made it, Jeff. Welcome to the studio. The rogue underdog is in the house. Dermot is here from Limerick in Ireland. That's right. Where are you watching? Around the world. Where are you watching? Around the world. And by the way, we have a new emoji going on, global, try global in the chat, everybody. Let us know. All right, let me take a sip of my own tea here. Oh, good to see everyone. And I'm assuming everybody that uh, you can hear me. Let me know if you're having a little challenge or if it's too loud. It might actually be a little too loud right now. Hello from Norway. Good to see you. Thanks for tuning in all the way from Norway. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Central Jersey, Lance is from South Carolina. Uh, Mason is from Portland, Oregon. Oh, this is good. YouTube notifications is working, says H-Town Q. Jay is in the house, that's right, global. Um, let me just, hold on, send a quick. Message here, sorry for the delay. Um, there we go. There we go. All right. So good to see everyone. Okay. 11 p.m. in Hungary. Oh, sorry. It's so sorry. It's so late over there. It's like I try to ch I try to choose times. Hello from Amsterdam. Noah is in the house. Good evening, Seth from the UK. Hearing you loud and clear. Okay. I think I think the audio is working. That's good. Let me just turn it down a little bit, actually. Uh, greetings, Tropical Runner. So good. So good. Thanks for spreading the word, actually. If you could, spread it around. I'm going to tweet it out right now. Let everybody know that we are live. And yes, we are talking. You guys, no more no more censoring. No more censoring. There it is. The Asics Metaspeed Sky in the house. Asics Metaspeed Sky. Finally, 50, whoa, 50 mile full review is live on the YouTube channel. Actually, who has not seen the vlog from today, okay? If you haven't seen it, let us know in the chat. If you have any initial questions, I'd be happy to field those as quick as possible. Okay, one second. Let me just put this down real quick here. Oh, man. Okay, so real quick here. David is watching from Sweden. And, of course, how was your run today? What'd you do? I did a real easy 11 miles, just recovering, nice and easy for me. It was amazing. So 11 miles for me. Felt real nice. And then into the gym. Um, nice, nice, nice. Now, I did see a super chat coming. Gabriel says, $5 from Gabriel. Thank you for the super chat. It does help, Gabriel. I can finally run. Thanks, Seth, and all your uh, vlogs. Gabriel, did you have an injury? And now you're back. Exciting. Congrats, Gabriel. Thanks for tuning in. And thank you for the Super chat, sir. Oh, so, so good. Okay, Marcos is in the house. Thank you, Marcos. I see you there. Okay. Hello. Hope you are all safe and sound from Germany. Thanks for watching from Germany. Okay. So, start thinking about your questions that you have for me. We're going to do the deep dive into the ASICS Metaspeed Sky. Any questions you have, I'll try to answer as many as possible. And... We'll dive in, okay? And then, yes, we'll open up this next box here in a little bit, probably about 10 or 15 minutes, okay? So think of your questions, and you can ask me any questions, but I will take questions about this shoe first, okay? 
ASICS MetaSpeed Sky, and then we'll dive into open Q&A. All right, sound good? Seek beauty, huh? work hard, love each other, onward and upward, all the good sayings we have here in the studio. Okay, excuse me, let me just see here. Oh, there we go. Wilson, back from IT band surgery. Wow, Wilson, congrats. That's a big deal. I'm glad you're back. Oh, glad it didn't take you out, you know, for too long. That's great to hear, Wilson. Awesome, awesome. Nate says, I, my run was three miles at 7.30 pace in the peg 37. Nice, Nate. Um, nice, thanks for watching. Okay, let's see, let's see. From Cyprus. Oh, man, that's uh, I hope it's warm in Cyprus. Oh, it sounds so good. Um, thank you for watching. From the Philippines, Jay, I do appreciate it. Okay. Hello from the UK. Very good. Oh, Ken is saying, I've been injured for over three months with no running, longest non-running stretch in 50 years of, of running. Wow, Ken, I am sorry. That's amazing, though, that you were healthy for so, so long. I'm sorry you're injured right now. Keep us posted on your progress. Wow, 50 years of running. That's uh, that's a, that's worth a clap right there. That is a big, big deal. Okay, so let me just jump in here. Uh-huh. Mariella's always tuning in. Oh, yeah. Okay. Dara. There it is. Dara is asking, is a member of the channel. Thank you, Dara, for being a member. He is asking, thoughts on the outsole rubber running all the way to the back on the lateral side. Would you like to see less rubber? I actually am okay. So there's the outsole. Dara. Okay. So here we go, everyone. I mean... I think it would be okay to have, you know, to not have this this rubber here, okay? It's probably, in my opinion, not necessary, but it is so thin. You'd be amazed, Dara and everybody else. Like, it is so thin compared to some other carbon fiber plate shoes, uh, this outsole rubber right here. It's really not thin. It's not. It's just not significant. It's really well done, like I said in today's vlog. Not to mention the holes that they put here on the outsole to create a little more grip, a little more friction on the road, but also just to reduce the weight a little bit. So I'm very pleased with the outsole. Very, I mean, yeah. Oh, goodness. And if that rubber were not there, what would that do, the, do to the due to the longevity of the shoe is the question. So overall, I'm pleased with the outsole. Thank you for being a member, Dara, and thank you for the question. I saw another Super Chat come in. Uh-oh, Nick is in the house. Nick, uh, hello from Cincinnati. Any chance you'll be sticking around till the end of the full marathon at Glass City? Would love to meet you, Nick. Thank you for the Super Chat. I do appreciate it. So... Um, I think the races start around the same time, if I'm not mistaken. And for everybody uh, wondering, he's talking about the uh, half marathon I'm getting ready for in about a month from now. So, Nick, 100%, we will be doing a group run after my race. Now, I will stick around for as long as possible. I don't know if the group run is going to be able to wait until the marathon is over, okay? Just because I don't know when everybody's going to be finishing. Um, my race, I think, starts at 6.30 a.m., and I'm in the first wave. So I would suspect by about 9.30 or 10, we would start to do the group run, okay, roughly. All right, so, Nick, thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. Oh, 300 people watching right now. That's what I'm talking about. DGR Strong. Um, let's see. Okay. So just trying to find questions that are connected to the Metaspeed Sky. Here we go. Um, okay. Uh oh, my goodness. A new member. Okay. Hello, Cesar. New member. Uh oh. That's right. Whenever there's a new member, we ring the bell, everybody. Let's get the bell emoji going in the chat. Thank you, Cesar, for being becoming a member. Oh, there we go. There we go. There it is. Oh, so good. So good. Thank you for becoming a member, Cesar Rodriguez. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. 
I don't know, Tyler. What shoes are you wearing for the 10K? That is the great mystery. I will say this much, Tyler. I'm a little uh, perplexed at the lack of 10K road racing shoes that I'm excited about. I've been researching and researching and researching, and I just, there's just, I, first of all, I haven't raced a road 10K. I don't even know. It's been a long time. I mean, years and years and years. So it's just, um, you know, I'm mountain, ultra running, trail running. So anyway, I I don't know what I'll be wearing. Tyler is the bottom line, which is unfortunate. But uh, because I 5K, nailed that. Half marathon, getting there. 10K, eh, it's a little bit more of a mystery to me. So good question. Thanks for being here. All right, so many questions. Sorry if I cannot uh, get to all of them. Yes, I will get to that in a second. Oh, my goodness. So many good questions. Okay. Okay. Woo. Gavin, given a choice, even though you have a Patriots logo, I will put you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm a Broncos fan, Gavin. You know that. All right, Gavin, given a choice between the Meta Speed Sky and Endorphin Pro, if you could pick only one to buy again, what would you choose? Woo. I don't think it's out here right now. I think it's inside the house. Okay. This is tough. First of all, I believe the endorphin speed is $200. Okay. This guy, $250. That's a pretty big significant uh, difference there. Hmm. For the sake of performance... We're going Meta Speed Sky. If if we're talking more about value, that gets a little more complicated. Okay, I'm going Meta Speed Sky over the Endorphin Pro. Is the question you asked? Yeah, and this guy is definitely lighter. I think by about a half an ounce or a little more. So, butter to the bread. I gave you an answer, Gavin. Yeah, Meta Speed Sky. Okay, good question. Thanks for being here. Mm-hmm. There we go. Onward and upward. Okay, okay. I'm looking for some more questions. Jay Jones, Metaspeed Sky. The artist by Atreyu versus Metaspeed. Metaspeed Sky. More pop, better carbon fiber plate, um, more secure upper. Um I yeah, yeah. The yeah. Now, yeah. Good, good, good question, Jay Jones. I do like it. Okay. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for watching. That's awesome. Okay, another super chat coming in from Josh. He is asking, when running long distance, how often should a runner take a swig of water? Like after how many miles? Oh, man. It, it's going to vary, Josh, for every person, and it's going to vary depending on the weather. I think a good rule of thumb is, Depending on, again, your experience level, like this is a very broad question, but I mean, I think a good rule of thumb might be like every 30 minutes, every 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah, I, I'm on the low end, but don't do what I do. Um, I've been adapted to training at altitude my entire life and running very long distances, but I think every 20 to 30 minutes is a good rule of thumb. So, I mean, but if really just listen to your body would be the biggest recommendation there. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. Very good. Okay. Jenny Smith Runner is asking Metaspeed Edge coming in June versus Metaspeed Sky. Well, I don't have so for those that, those that don't know, this is the Metaspeed Sky with a 33 in the heel, 28 in the forefoot for the stack height. The Metaspeed Edge is going to have less, okay? I can actually uh, tell you that actually I can't tell you. I, can, I actually I can, I actually I she can't tell you. Um, it's gonna have less. It's gonna have a lower stack height. So I haven't tested the Meta Speed Edge yet, so I can't really answer that question. But it is coming, and it's gonna be arriving sooner rather than later. So stay tuned. Good question. Oh, man, Javier, welcome to the live stream. I do appreciate you tuning in. I do, I do. Okay, 
Here we go. Let me just close this real quick. Oh my goodness, a lot going on here. Oh man, 360 people watching. Welcome to the shooty. Okay, hello from Poland. There you go. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. All right, Colby, Ryan, Jai, <laughs> Jai, sorry, Jai, so, you know, word, sorry, name pronunciation, I do apologize. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. So, all these questions, the next percent versus the meta speed. Now, I think some of these questions were next percent. Um, oh boy, another one coming in. Okay. <sighs> so, the next percent two is two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Very interesting. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Very interesting. Fascinating. It's going to be interesting also to see what happens with Adidas, with New Balance, with Saucony, with everybody else in 20, with Hoka in 2021. Now, <laughs> the original next percent, if I'm not mistaken, is still $250. That blows my mind. Now, the next percent, too, is a little heavier, a little, just a little heavier than this guy. The meta speed a little bit, not much. For the sake of racing, running fast, trying to do your best, I have to say the next percent, okay? But, but, I have not raced officially yet in this guy. Okay, so take what I just said with a grain of salt. I ran a PR for a half marathon as a 35-year-old in the original next percent. This guy, okay? Not this one because it's cut in half, but, you know, the other one in the house. So I'm going to say next percent for the sake of performance. I'm not going to say for the sake of overall score that I give to shoes in the studio because my overall scores include the price point right okay now i have also not raced in the next percent too now same midsole same carbon fiber plate same outsole different upper gained a little bit of weight most of you know that the next percent too so there you go ah whoa whoa ayo dan carroll in the house with a super chat from canada Dan, thank you so much. Love from Canada. What are your shoe choices for the upcoming races? Well, Dan. Well, Dan. This is a curveball, Dan and everybody. This is a major... I was not expecting this from ASICS. So, um, I was not expecting this. So, Dan, I actually don't know. I'm truly between this guy. I will say this much. If I had to rank right now, I'd probably say next percent, this guy, next percent two. Next percent, this guy, next percent two. There you go. All right? That's as much as I can tell you because I just – now, now, Dan and everybody else. In today's vlog, I said, how will I be using this shoe moving forward? I always say that in the vlog. I will be using this shoe for racing and for threshold runs okay so dan and stay tuned i'm going to be doing an eight mile threshold this week 12 mile threshold the following week 16 mile threshold the following week which threshold is hard it's a hard it's a hard workout so i foresee many more answers coming about this shoe soon thank you dan dan the man dan the man george with a super chat thank you george two na 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 thank you so much george shout out to you for supporting the channel in that way um onward and upward onward and upward here we go oh boy oh boy so many comments um oh my goodness sorry if i'm i'm, I'm 
<laughs> Here we go. Wilson, Asics versus Audio, Adidas, Adidas, Adios Pro. What's the big difference? I mean, weight and upper. It's not even close between those two. I mean, I, out of uh, some people really enjoyed the Audios Pro. I did not like the upper. I didn't like the feel of it. I didn't like the lockdown of it. And it's an ounce heavier than this guy. I do don't. Okay. The Marathon Racing Shoe Matrix Vlog. For all the new subscribers. And yes, let's do it. Come on now. For all the new subscribers, let us know in the chat right now. Let's say you subscribed in the past month. Okay. The past month. We're ringing, we're ringing the bell for you. All right, ring the bell for all of them. So here's the deal. If you're a new subscriber, I made a matrix vlog where I compare all the carbon fiber plate marathon racing shoes in one video. Go to the homepage of the channel, this YouTube channel, and find the search tab and then just type in matrix. And I've made like five or six Matrix vlogs. We'll find the Marathon Racing Shoe Matrix vlog. Watch that and you'll see my real thoughts, Wilson and everybody else, about carbon fiber plate Marathon Racing Shoes. And the Audios Pro was, yeah, yeah. It just didn't do it for me. So there you go. Thank you so much. Oh, man. Another one from George. Here we go. Send me good vibes. Threshold test on bike today. George, sending you good vibes, sir. Thanks for being here. Hey, oh, Cameron is in the house. Always in the house. Uh, okay. Giant mango. Too loud. I'll, I'll hold the bell further away. Sorry. Especially if you're wearing headphones. I do apologize. Oh, my goodness. Hello from the south of France. Oh, I wish I was in south of France right now. It was it snowed again in Denver today. So it's like we go from like 70 degrees to like 30 degrees in the springtime here in Denver, Colorado. Um Andres. So I think I can tell you get tell you guys this. I don't think this is a big uh secret. Um have you tried have you tried magic from Asics? Yes, I have. And uh, technically, I don't think I'm supposed to show it on screen. So I'm looking at it right now. Okay, so it's, it's literally in my hand. So I've taken it to 50 miles, 50 mile full review publishing on Thursday, Thursday, 5 a.m. A6 magic speed. And my big question is, how does the magic speed compare to the endorphin speed mm, running shoe battle of brewing that's all i gotta say Ooh, gotta hide it i'm technically i don't think i'm supposed to show that shoe on screen uh quite yet oh boy i saw another super chat thank you so much i do appreciate it jim thompson in the house uh qod do you think kipchoge will get redemption in the hamburg marathon april 11th jim that's a really excellent question. I like that a lot. <sighs> Listen, London was not the greatest weather. You know, training in Kenya, you get good weather. So I think a lot of times Kenyans and Ethiopians and Ugandans, they they race better when the weather is nicer. So I think he's going to have a solid race. Um, I don't think he's going to come, you know, approach his world record by any means um will he win right that's probably what you're really asking me i don't know here's okay jim i'm actually gonna say he does not quite win and i know that's bold everybody here's the deal i'm getting older kipchoge we're almost the exact same age uh kip kipchoge kipchoge uh kip i've heard his name pronounced correctly recent it's not kipchoge it's um kip kipchoge kipchoge anyway He's getting older. I'm getting older. We're all getting older. It hurts. It, it's to train at a high level. It's just painful. So I'm not saying he's past his prime, but what I am saying, what I am saying, Jim and everybody else, the young guns are are here. The young marathon, half marathon, I mean, the half marathon world record is being dropped like every six months right now. Like 
the young runners are here with a vengeance. And so, Jim, I just, I don't know. I think these young guys are going to be pushing the older guys in a big, big way. I'll just leave it there. Leave it there. Oh, butter to the bread. Thanks for the super chat. Okay. Now, of course, we'll open it up to any Q&A. Actually, I got to open this box as well. I just remembered. Oh, my goodness. 425 people watching. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Oh, man. Yes. Interview Lionel Sanders and Jim Walmsley. I like this idea. So, for those that don't know, the last live stream, I interviewed Killian Jornet, our Jornet. Um, and so it was really fun. So yes, we are working on lining up more interviews soon. And actually in the chat, let us know who would be your top choice for me to interview soon, you know, in the next six months, let's say, because it does take time to, uh, get everybody's schedules lined up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I think that's interesting. Alexander Foss. <laughs> I think it's really an interesting um, what would you think about making a separate shoe score for racing shoes in which you exclude price and comfort to just rate the performance? That's interesting, Alexander. I like your thinking. I mean, it's, it's, it, why it's, oh, I love, I love, I love your thinking because it's like, but of course, for people to get into shoes, there's a price point and that's a, that's a hurdle you have to get over. Um, so Alexander, I like, I like it. All right, come on. I'm going to, I'm going to think on that a little bit, you know, let it marinate a little bit out there. Oh boy. All right. Plug your ears. Just plug your ears. Okay. Col Colton reader. I'm holding it further away. New member. <laughs> more cowbell, more cowbell. Thank you. Colton Reader joining up. I believe he's joining up as a Butter My Bread Club member now. So for those that don't know, to get access to the emojis, okay, you got to be a member. You got to be a member. So those emojis are a lot of fun in the live streams, also in the daily vlog. Um, in fact, you know, you probably see this one a lot. Let me just take it off the screen real quick and put this there so the qod hold on let me take this down so there it is the qod um it just helps me i can't answer every single comment every day i i that, that's like a full-time job but i do my best to reply to as many of the member um comments as possible so to designate their comments they can use this code in the it's colon qod colon and then it pops up so anyway colton thank you for becoming a member butter to the bread right there and it at the end of the day what it does the members it allows me to push this channel forward in a big way like i'm telling you in a big big way i can't even oh filming equipment who 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 has enjoyed the drone shots from up above chasing me, the drone chasing me in the last couple weeks? The only reason I could afford to buy that drone is because of the channel members. So channel members, thank you for being members and pushing this channel forward and increasing the quality of the daily vlogs. You guys are doing it. So thank you so much. I mean, seriously, it's, it's amazing. Okay, okay, here we go. Do Goss Films, thank you from Canada. Great channel, just showing some support. You're the best. Rock on. I do appreciate it so, so much. I mean, filming equipment, it's all, yeah, it all just makes a difference. Okay, let me just find, I think, uh, oh boy, here we go. I see something. I see something. Here we go. Camaro 11, thank you, thank you. Hi, Seth, love your channel and how you manage family and running is great to see, mate. Love to see you interview Jim Walmsley. Oh, I will. It sounds like Jim is a popular choice. So I actually know Jim. He knows me. We we were on the World Mountain Running Championship team together a year and a half ago in Argentina. So Jim and I know each other. So that shouldn't be too hard to set up. So I will put him toward the top of the list. Another name that is coming up a lot is Courtney uh, DeWalter. So there you go. She'll be coming soon. 
Okay. Marcos is saying, loving the drone vlogs. Um, Oran is back here. Here we go. Thank you, Oran. Uh, McGowan, what is the weight difference between the Meta Racer and Meta Speed Sky? Shall we find out? I think it's an ounce and a half. It's it's a lot. It's it's a lot, guys. This is a uh, I'm gonna say a a little bit of a dud. The Meta Racer compared to this guy. I'm I'm a, I'm I'm feeling fiery, everybody. I'm feeling fired up. I'm telling you, Meta Speed Asics, great job. Okay, here we go. Meta Speed Sky, six point one, right? Oh, hold on. Six six point one in my size. Remember from the vlog. Okay, here we go. Meta Racer. I think it was like seven point five. Seven. Okay, seven in my size. So about an ounce heavier. All right. So a little, not quite as much as I thought. Seven ounces in my size. So there you go, Oran. Thank you so much for the question. Okay. Mm hmm. Do do do. Oh, yeah, that'd be a good one, Jason. Good idea. Julian Wanders. Um, I would love that. Okay, so, so good. Uh-huh, mod. Yep, there you go. So it is the Skydio 2 is the drone. Skydio 2 is the name of the drone. Okay. Okay, let's see. Dan, here we go. What's the width difference between Metis... Speed Sky and uh, Meta Racer. So, um, so what they heard from Dan and everybody else, um, they heard from the elite athletes who run from Asics that they wanted a little bit of a wider landing area through the forefoot. So for the Meta Speed Sky, they definitely increased the width. Can you see it? I'm not sure if you can see it there, but um, they, it's it's um, yeah. It's there. I wish I could measure it for you right now, but it's definitely wider, and I felt it out there. It felt very, um, it felt stable. Yeah, it felt, you know what? Actually, this is interesting. It felt more stable than the next percent. Yeah, it did. It did. I'm just trying to recall my foot strike. So, yep, very interesting. Dan the man. Dan the man is in the house. Oh, Spence. Spence, Spence, Spence. Any updates on DGR Virtual Race? Registration opens tomorrow. Registration opens tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. All right? Make sure you watch tomorrow's vlog. It's going down, everybody. Dan, yes. Molly Seidel would be a great interview. I'd love to interview her. Um, Sean, yes. I have the Magic Speed. Talked about that a couple, about 10 minutes ago. And 50-mile full review will be publishing Thursday morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Oran McGowan, the difference between the midsole foams is um, the weight, the density, you know, so the, the durometer score, and overall energy return. Um, if I had to pick one thing, I would say it's like the density is, is less. How they do that scientifically you know, and in the manufacturing process, I just don't know. So I wish I, they, they have to keep their cards a little close to their chest sometimes with respect to the production process. SJD, any idea when the Puma Elite comes out, DV8 Elite? I've been trying to track down, if anybody knows somebody that works for Puma or Adidas, I should say, because they own Puma, um, I would love to talk to them. I would love to. Cameron, good question. Thanks for being here, Cameron. Um, so we need we need that Puma shoe ASAP. Um, okay. So we'll go soon. I gotta, I gotta, oh yeah, let's open the box. Oh my goodness. So I have a confession to make. I actually know what's in the box because <laughs> this box right here, um, our house is kind of small, for six people especially. So, Henry, all of my running shoes that I'm testing out right now live in Henry's room. Henry was napping today when I needed to go run, so I couldn't get to my shoes. So, therefore, I had to open up this box 
and see what was in it and take it out for our first run. So I actually know what's inside and there you go. So I'm sorry, sorry for the letdown. Um, <laughs> sorry for the letdown, but I actually know what's inside. So it's not going to be maybe as dramatic as it usually is. So let's just open it up and there you go. And then we'll wrap up the uh, live stream here, here. Oh, 400 people watching. You guys are the best. You guys are the best. All right, here we go. A one, two, three, boom. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Sockany in the house. Sockany, sockany. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. The guide 14. The sockany guide 14. Gotta say, not, you know, not what I was expecting to come out of the box. Um, but there you go. Sockany. So a stability shoe big time. I'll just tell you, so it's got a huge piece of plastic here. Not my cup of tea, but Saucony sent them to me, so I did 11 miles in them today. And But if you need a stability shoe, I would say in a big, big way, very exciting. Very exciting. Should I put it on the scale? I think it's very heavy. Yeah, not too sh I mean... 9.7 9.7 so actually i'm actually surprised it's not over 10 because it felt like 10 ounces um 9.7 ounces in my size solid very very plush comfortable shoe very excited about the shoe it's just too much for my foot strike it was like really guiding my foot a lot my foot strike a lot so if you need a lot of stability help i would say i'm excited about it so stay tuned um Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh huh. Dun, 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 dun. All right, we'll take three more questions, and then I gotta, I gotta zip out of here. Um. Okay, okay. Let's see. Giant mango. I'm not sure what quick fire question favorite twenty two thousand shoe, two thousand like from the year two thousand. <laughs> it would have been like a. Who knows? No, I don't know. Ask again, Giant Mango. Okay, here we go. I know. Dermot, we'll see. What is your predicted time for the upcoming 10K? We shall see. Gotta get rolling. Tomorrow's a big workout, so the weather's gonna be nicer. No snow on the ground. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is. This is a good question. FF Turbo is PBAX or EVA? It is a type of PBAX, okay? It's it's not EVA. It's a it's a it's a type of P. It's a nylon based um, foam. I'll just put it that way, okay? So it's it's in it's in the PBAX family tree. All right, there you go. Uh huh. -huh. So many good questions, okay. Do, 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 do. Thanks for being here, Matthew. Thanks for being here. I'm just trying to find him, everybody. Uh-huh. Okay. Mark, there you go. Sorry, it took me a while. Do you care what drop a shoe has? I do. I prefer a higher drop for racing shoes. I like higher drop because I think I personally think it helps me get up on my toes a little more. And then I like a lower drop for recovery days, like ultra, zero drop, to stretch out my soleus and calf muscle. Um, I love ultra for that. I would. I don't think I'll ever race in ultra shoes. I just, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So no, drop is a is a big deal for me. Uh, good question. Mm -hmm. What shoe did you like more out of the box, uh, Nova Blast or Metaspeed Sky? Um, probably the Nova Blast, but they are di very different shoes. So, but I love the Nova Blast for training because of the bounce. Actually, it's right, right there, right there. There's the Nova Blast right over my right shoulder. Uh, right out of the box, I like the Nova. It took me a couple runs to figure out the Meta Speed Sky. So, good question. Julian's always hanging out in the studio. Thanks for hanging out, Julian. Okay. And we'll do one more, well, maybe two. Mach 4, Pegasus Turbo 2, 
Mach 4, Mach 4, Mach 4, 100%. Sean, hello from, um, hello from Ireland. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Man. Hmm. Oh, man, so many good questions. I wish I could answer them all. We'll, we'll finish up with Derek. Seth, if you could design your own running shoe, it might be happening, Derek, at some point. What would you focus on? I would f- definitely focus on weight. You guys know me and the weight of the shoe. It I, For me, it makes a difference. I would also focus on... Um, I'd focus... You know, I'm, I'm just thinking about lockdown. I would focus a lot on lockdown. Oh, so many different components of a good lockdown. Um, man, I mean, if I, if I had to only choose one, it would be weight. It would be lockdown. Um, it would not be outsole grip. You guys know that much for road shoes. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, man. The easy answer is to say, you know, bounce and energy return, but that's an easy answer. So, man, that is a huge question. Thank you, Derek. That is it, everybody. I wish I could hang out longer. I got to go. Got to go edit the vlog. Butter to the bread. Thanks for hanging out in the studio. Asics Metaspeed Sky 50-mile full review is live on the channel right now. Asics Magic Speed 50-mile full review will publish Thursday morning, 5 a.m. Mountain Time. Mark your calendars, ASICS Magic Speed, 50-mile full review. Thursday morning, I love you guys. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow, 5 a.m.